Hello, my loves. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. So let's get started, Libra. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Libras, please. Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my Libras, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in love. What love messages do we have for my Libras today? Ooh. Too many cards, guys. It was um, the full, the sun, uh, the full, the moon, and the six of swords for whoever wants to know. I don't know, just in a flow, right? Too many cards. What messages? Wow, this card is tough today. What messages do we have? What messages do we have for my Libras, please, Spirit? All right, let's see. So we've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. And we have the Page of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. So, Libra, from what I'm seeing here, it looks like somebody either has come back or or not come back. Let me not say come back. Because um, this could be someone coming back or it could be someone that's just starting to come around. You maybe you were dating this person for a while and they're starting to come around. I feel like this person has started to invest more emotionally. This person may have been very emotionally clo closed off from you. And I feel that that is the main reason why you had so many problems in this connection. Um, now, though, that they're deciding to open up, you know, because they're making a firm decision here. And I feel like they're going to tell you that I'm making a decision to open up. I'm going to take that risk, the full card. I'm going to, you know, take that leap of faith with you. Wheel of Fortune and Temperance. I feel like you're entering this beautiful new phase in this connection um, where there's going to be a lot of peace and a lot of prosperity. Spirit, what clarity and guidance? Let's see here. What do we have for your Libras? So we've got the <laughs> the Knight of Wands energy, Leo Sag Aries, and we have the Star card, Aquarian energy. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius Gemini Libra energy. So there you are, and we have the Four of Cups. We have the Hermit Virgo energy, and we have the Eight of Cups. So Libra, I feel like what's happening here is that you could have possibly been separated from this person, okay? Um, you may have possibly been separated from this person, and this person may have come to realize that, you know, da -na 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 -na, they're waiting, waiting, waiting to hear from you, waiting, but now they're starting to wake up. They're actually starting to look for you online. Why isn't Libra reaching out? Why are they holding back? Normally by now they would have called or normally by now something would have happened. They're seeing uh, the change here, Libra. They're seeing the change in you. We could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, they're seeing the change in you. And I think this person is starting to realize that if they don't come in and, you know, work with you, you're going to walk away. Period. You know what I'm saying? If they don't come in and try to heal the situation and invest emotionally and, you know what I'm saying, pursue this connection in a way that someone who is interested and in love should pursue a relationship, you're just done. You know what I'm saying? We've got the Queen of Swords and the Four of Cups. Unless you get the peace and tranquility and unless this is a connection that is going somewhere, you just don't want to hear it anymore you're not even going to look at this person's offer unless this person makes a decision okay to come forward and do the right thing you're not gonna you don't want to you're just you don't want to do it anymore the hermit is someone who withdraws they vandalize the situation and you know you're you're realizing here that it's time to walk away unless you know this person comes correct Spirit, what clarity and guidance for what messages do we have here for my Libras, please? 
the Seven of Cups. And the Two of Cups. The Ten of Wands. And the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Devil, Capricorn energy. And the Strength card, Leo energy. So Libra, okay, I'm picking up on a couple of things here. Either you're with somebody here that even when they're in a relationship, they maintain a lot of uh, friendships with um, the opposite sex. So if you're with a man, this is someone who has a lot of friends that are females. If you're a female, this is, you, you know, if you're a male, you have a lot of if you're a male with a woman, the woman has a lot of men that, you know, they keep as friends. And, um, I don't think someone likes that. But then someone finds that overwhelming. Like, there's too many people. This could even be family. It could be that just that multiple people come in and, um, there's just, you know, too many options around this connection. And someone needs to know, they, they need to feel safe. They want to feel safe, okay? And I feel that, you know, if the connection starts to feel toxic, when I say it starts to feel to toxic, um, Libra, if you start to feel like you want to look in this person's phone, if you start to feel like, you know, you're crying in the shower, if you start to feel that when you call this person they don't pick up, you get this sense of worry in your stomach, you don't want to feel that way. You don't want to feel that way. You want to, you know, no matter how passionate you are about this person, no matter how much you love this person, you know, you're going to listen to your guides and you're going to pull back from any form of toxicity. You know, you just don't want to deal with it. You don't want to deal with it. Yeah. So the, see the world card here, something, you know, something, a cycle in this connection needs to end. Either the relationship's going to end or something here has to change. And, you know, we have wish fulfillment coming in. Like someone here needs to either really do like a 180 and change and compromise with you at minimum, you know, at minimum compromise, you know, um, or this can't be, you know, A relationship shouldn't be a burden. It should be a joy, you know, and I feel like, you know, you're starting to not give to this connection with a giving heart Libra. It's starting to become harder and harder and harder to give to this person or to give, you know, your love to this person because there's this sense of, uh, you know, you don't feel safe. You don't feel secure. You feel like, does this person love me? Do they not love me? What the hell is going on? You know, page of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Six of Pentacles. The Tower, Aries, Scorpionic Energy. And the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. The Nine of Swords. And the Judgment Card, Sagittarian Energy. Um, so here's the, here's the funny thing, um, Libra, sometimes we're in relationships like this, right? And we tell the person, listen, I'm not dealing with crap anymore. If you want me back, you got to call me. You got to apologize. You got to work this out. You got to sit there. You got to, we got to talk this through. You got to do the right thing and you have to be this and you have to be that. And we say these things never really having the expectation that this person is going to change. And even if they do come back changed, we don't believe them. Okay. Because what's coming, what's happening here is this person is coming in with an offer to work things out, with an offer to compromise, with an offer to balance out the scales. Okay. And I feel that, you know, you weren't expecting this. Okay. You, you were not, you, your intuition is thrown off here. There's like a sense of mystery. Like what, what's going on? Like, you just weren't expecting this from this person. This is like blindsided. You did not see this coming. And now you're faced with this energy of, should I give this person another chance? Because this person is coming in. Yeah, this person is coming in, Libra, with a whole different attitude. 
They're coming in with this new conversation about marriage, about commitment, about you can just, I feel like you can feel it in this person's voice and in their demeanor that with the high priestess and the hierophant, they've ascended spiritually possibly. The way they're talking to you about um, leaving that, that the past behind and moving towards more peaceful waters, like it's... um. You know, they're, they're, they're offering something very stable here, and they're very passionate about it, you know. They're really serious about wanting to make this work, and I feel like, you know, I feel like your intuition knows like that this this is a huge change. This person is coming in change. They're coming towards you very different. And now you're having anxiety because you're like, should I give this another chance? Should I really go down this road again? Because I don't think you were expecting this. You were not expecting this person to actually do right by you, okay? Tell me about this uh, Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. This person is trying to win your attention, Libra. They're trying to win you back. They're trying to get you to talk to them. They know you're pre-empress. They know you're, you know, uh, Virgo energy, Nine of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician, Virgo Gemini energy. You see, Libra, you're manifesting your 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 blessings here. Temperance and the Seven of Wands. I feel like you are going to push away or block anything that doesn't bring you peace and that doesn't bring you prosperity. If it's not, if it's a seed that you cannot plant in your life and make it grow, you just don't want to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're not, you're not going to be planting any weeds in your garden. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you only want good seeds. You only want, um, that parable is coming to mind uh, in the Bible, like where, you know, there's uh, multiple, it's called the parable of the seeds, I believe. Um, and it's about like, you know what I'm saying? One seed gets thrown here, one seed gets thrown. So like, you know, there's one seed that'll take and be healthy, one seed that will turn into this or, you know, and, and that's kind of like where you're at. You're seeing people as like, you know, if I bring you into my life and I root you into my life, what are you going to bring? Are you going to bring, you know, poison? Are you going to bring, um, you know, weeds? Are you going to bring, or, or are you going to prosper? and bring, you know, bring forward good fruit, you know, and that's kind of like where you are right now with this relationship. Um, so I feel like you're pushing this away because this person makes you doubt, you know, with the devil and the ace of swords, you're always on the lookout for maybe third parties. You're always on the lookout to see if this person's cheating. You're always on the lookout to see if this person's partying. You don't want to do it anymore, Libra. You're trying to manifest abundance into your life and you just don't want to play this game. Chariot and the Three of Pentacles. Page of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This person would have to honestly come towards you and talk about working on this connection. Making a firm decision to focus on you, on this connection, on working together. Knight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. They cannot hold back. If they're going to be in this connection with you, they got to let loose. They have to, you know what I'm saying? You have, you need to be able to talk to this person. You need to be able to trust this person. It needs to be open. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be uh, open communication, open with what you guys are thinking. Um, with the star card and the hanged man, I feel like you're tired of waiting to try to figure out what this person wants or waiting to try to figure out how this person feels. This is what needs to change. The death card, Scorpio energy um queen of swords and the star aquarian energy and we have the four of cups with the chariot cancerian energy so you are not you are not and another thing here this person has to hold back from any type of flirting or player type energies here okay and i feel like you're standing your ground libra you're you're not gonna budge until this person wakes up and realizes that unless with the star card they give you what you want if they come back to heal this the right way then fine. Until they make this decision with the chariot card, you're not looking at the offer. Until they make that firm decision to come correct, you just don't want to deal with it. The hermit, please. The emperor, Aries, Taurus energy, and the eight of cups with the high priest, um, Taurus energy. I feel that Libra, you are seriously with that hermit and that emperor putting up boundaries. You're putting up boundaries, you're standing your ground, and with the Eight of Cups, you will walk away unless this person provides real commitment. You don't want to deal with it. Seven of Cups 
and the Justice card, Libra Energy. Yeah, you want to be treated fairly. I, I feel like if this person is going to have friends or family or whatever, then this person needs to understand that they have their place and you have your place. These people can't be getting involved in your relationship or whatever. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you want to have all these people, then you have to have respect, right? Um, another thing I'm feeling is you want to be treated fairly. You don't want to walk around not knowing where you stand in your relationship. Two of Cups and the Sun. Yeah, you, you know, you have to have, what's the word I'm looking for? Do I want to say super, superiority or <coughs> whatever? I don't know if I want to say that. You rank higher than friends, okay? If you're if you're in a relationship with somebody, and I'm sorry for whoever doesn't disagree with me, okay? But you rank higher than friends when you're in a relationship, okay? Um, you know, friends is fantastic. The, the mutual respect is fantastic. But when you're in a relationship and you, you know, make vows to each other or promises to each other, you know, if someone gets sick, or if someone gets hurt, it's not the friend that's going to come in and save the day as a boyfriend or a girlfriend or husband or wife. It's your responsibility to do that, not the friends. Do you understand? And that's why your person, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fiance, your husband and your wife deserves more respect than outside people. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, so this is your perspective here. You know, you, you need to be respected and seen and appreciated. Um, for who you are. Eight of Swords and the Ten of Wands, and you're tired. You're tired of being in your head. You're tired of having to guess as to what's going on, feeling like people are talking behind your back, feeling like stuff is going on, because you're in this energy of, you know, if this person's family or friends talk bad about you, do they defend you? You don't even know, you know? Um, King of Pentacles and the Empress, Aries Taurus Energy. You want a power couple dynamic here, Libra. You want a, dyna a, dyna a dynamic where you guys are loyal to each other, stable, like you're a rock solid couple, you know, and you want someone more than anything that puts you a little bit on that pedestal, that puts you before others. Do you understand? Um, you want that respect. The devil card and the queen of wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. The strength card and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you're not going to sit here and be jealous over other people all day long. It's not going to work. Maybe it happened once or twice, but th this is not the way you want to live your life. You will withdraw and go find something else to do with your time, okay? Because, um, you know, you'll flip the page on them and you'll go off with a third party and they can watch you be happy with someone else. You're not going to spend your life being jealous over other people. That's just not fair. If we're de uh, we're dealing with a page of if we're dealing with listen to me I wanted to say um, Mercury retrograde I guess I still <sighs> let me just take a breath here so page of uh, cups and the king of pentacles so this person has to come in with an apology and they have to come correct they have to come with a sense of stability they have to come as this king of pentacles like you're requesting six of pentacles and the devil card so we need to talk about the toxicity here we need to talk we need to compromise i don't like this i don't like that these are the things that are infecting our love and our relationship and we need to figure out what needs to be cut out like a cancer and what can be tamed and worked with and compromised you know there 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 needs to be like a sit down conversation here about things that are happening in this connection that just cannot continue. So we have the tower and the five of swords. We have the high priestess and the five of cups. Libra, I feel like you're going to be shocked. It's really, really going to shock you. Okay, that this person wants to win you back so badly that they are willing to change and they're actually going to open up to you and tell you what they haven't been telling you, which is, I know I was wrong. I know I acted like a butthead with that five of swords energy. I know I was wrong and I should have never put you through that, which is possibly something that this person has never, ever done before. Okay, Nine of Swords and the Page of Wands. Okay, so you're getting the promises that you want, but now you have anxiety because you requested this person to make these promises and they're coming and making them, 
but this person has already hurt you. So now there's a sense of fear because with the moon card, Cancer Piscean energy, there's this energy of what if this doesn't go right? You know what I'm saying? Now we got a case of the what ifs, you know, what if I'm making a mistake? What if I, you know, what if they hurt me again? What if, what if, what if, but you know, that's not good. That's not good manifesting. Okay. So you got to be careful with that. <coughs> if this, if this relationship has, you know, uh, has a chance of survival, this is a you know, imminent death. You know what I'm saying? These type of thoughts, you're already destroying the relationship. So we have taking steps. We have cornucopia. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And we have materialistic love. Let's hope this relationship is not just about the money and gifts. You'll only end up feeling miserable. Okay. So I feel here, Libra, that you're taking the right steps towards your happiness towards getting what you want so spirit is saying to stay optimistic so i feel like you know if you're at empress level, level here i don't feel that this is too much about the money i gotta be honest with you here libra because even if you're coming up as an empress they're coming up as the king of pentacles so they may have a little bit less money than you maybe i don't know but i, I don't really see like one person is is poor and the other person is rich i'm not really seeing that what i am seeing though is you know you want to make sure that you know you're not in this for the wrong reasons or that they are not in this for the wrong reasons do you understand what i'm saying um so you need to sit down, you need to sit down and, and, you know, materialistic love isn't always just, you know, things and possessions around you. Materialistic can also be, um, you know, I have a friend that has a beach house. So that friend now becomes more important than you. Do you understand? So, uh, you know, it's also that type of situation. So I would feel here that, um, I'm going to go with here with this card that this is the sit down that you guys need to talk about. You know what I'm saying? That you guys need to talk about. Let's pull one more. Interference. Be cautious not to allow others to get in the way with an upcoming relationship. Think for yourself. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's actually the opposite way around here, Libra. I feel like your person has a lot of people around them that maybe use them for money or that are around them because of their status. And these people like to interfere in, the, in your person's connections because maybe, you know, they don't want to be pushed away because of that. So you may have people around your person that, that you know, as friends, they, they spoil the, do you understand what I'm saying? You may have people around your person here that use your person for money and they like to interfere in your connection and you don't like that. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.